Imperium introduction cinematic. The Imperium of Man. A million worlds scattered across an uncaring galaxy. A million worlds forever under threat from the machinations of cursed traitors and perfidious Xenos. It is an empire consumed by war, by the very battle for survival itself. For there is no peace amongst the stars. I love the sayings, dude. The Space Marines, genetically modified warriors who know no fear, spearhead every counter assault, taking the battle to the heart of the foe. From the smoke wreathed horror of Adeptus Mechanicus Forge Worlds sail warships of fearsome potency, their weapons blessed by the Machine God and their crews dedicated to the- The Machine God is a joke, Crow. The Scholar Progenium mold callow flesh into leaders, officers of the Imperial Navy, the greatest fleet ever to span the stars. It's not heresy to say that the Machine God is a joke. It's heresy to speak out against the Emperor, but the Emperor is not the Machine God. Like, the Omni... No, the Omni's... Well, you could make that argument, I guess, but they do not believe that the omni Sire is the Emperor. They believe in the Emperor as well, but they do not believe that the... Do the Adeptus Mechanicus believe that the Emperor is the omni Sire? I do not think so. Doesn't even know his computer works by magic of the Machine God? Yeah, here we go. The, this is this is all I fucking need right now. They don't care about the Emperor, to be honest. They do respect them, do they not? Some sex believe the Emperor is the Omni. You have to say that if you don't want the Inquisition will come knocking. The Emperor is the Omni Sire's avatar. Sire is a heresy. There is a heretic and there is heretic, Akamon. Of course. No. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Someone said that the the custo uh, someone will come knocking. Uh, the Inquisition will come knocking. That is apparently not true for the Adeptus Mechanicus. So uh, from Bricky's video, they tolerate the Adeptus Mechanicus believing in the Omni Sire because they need the Adeptus Mechanicus in order to actually wage war and to survive. So I do not believe that the Adeptus Mechanicus needs to in any way, shape, or form, uh, believe in the Emperor whatsoever. Because they kind of need them, so they don't really have a choice. These heroes dedicate their life to the Imperium's defense, confronting the ceaseless threat of chaos wherever it manifests. The war against the Dark Gods and their worshippers is the eternal battle for the soul of mankind, for the future of the galaxy itself. It is the forge upon which true heroes are struck and legends tempered. Is this a good game? Admiral Spire is one such legend, savior of the Gothic sect. Uh, Steve, by the way, if you guys wanna, if you wanna link stuff in the channel, uh, you can do so on Discord. Uh, unless you're sub to the channel, you can't, um, you you can't link in the channel. Uh, so on Twitch, but you can absolutely link stuff on Discord. So I'm not trying to make money out of you or force you to sub. But yeah, if we just let everyone sub, we've had some problem with people subbing or linking things that steal people's information and crap. So that's why we did that. Vanquisher of Warmaster Abaddon's 12th Black Crusade. For centuries he has been lost, trapped in the shifting tides of the Immaterium, while in pursuit of the hated foe. Such travails would drive an ordinary man to madness, or into the clutches of the very gods he once opposed. But Spire is no ordinary man, uh -huh. and his time is coming once more. We're out. Praise the Emperor, but I can see the stars again. Receiving distress signals. The region's alive with them. According to the timestamps, Admiral, the year, it's 999M41. 
We've been lost in the warp for over 800 years. Jesus. In Cadia, the hymnals report that it's been destroyed, sir. There's a lot of confusion out there, sir. And Admiral, Cadia fell at Abaddon's hand. Then we are returned not a moment too soon. Navigator, chart a course to the Cadian system. We may be an age too late to join the battle, but revenge is still within our grasp. Warp engines online. Okay. Get a field holding. This is Admiral Spire to all. In okay, so I'm assuming this is Cadia. Steve, you bastard. Thanks for the deal with I really appreciate that. Welcome to the most degenerate chat on Twitch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind, bro. Um, so who here believes that Cadia was destroyed? And who believes that Cadia still stands? No, because whenever I ask people what happened to Cadia, people write Cadia is fine. Cadia is fine. There's nothing wrong with Cadia. So it seems like there's there's people who have a different idea about what Cadia is supposed to be, at least. Um Steve, I'm gonna add this video to my watch list the on Discord, by the way, just in case we do not actually get to it. Um, today, I, I, I don't want to lose it, so I'm going to add it to content suggestions here. There we go. Okay, that's added now. Primark Project. No, wait, where's this? Okay. Do they actually show Imperial you that Cadia was destroyed? Rally at coordinates one five four five five four. This isn't over. Okay, so Cadia is definitely gone. Do they show you how Cadia was destroyed in this game? Wait, hold up. Uh, I want to see this now. Battlefleet 2, Fall of Cadia. For 10,000 years, the Eye of Terror has spewed its ageless horrors into the galaxy, gnawing at the eternal glories of the Imperium. At the, the Cadian God still operates, but why the fuck would they still say Cadia stands? If it's clearly no longer the case. Thanks for the first time chat, by the way. Also, appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Abaddon crashed a black stone fortress into it. Jesus. Uh, Stolly? Yeah, sure. All right, what's up? Okay, so... Cadia stands is basically the battle cry of Cadians after Cadia's fall, implying that they're still fighting for the Imperium even after their word uh, their word was you know blown up. That's short. That's basically it. okay. So this the battle is why, cry. This is why you guys always go. Cadia still stands. Yes, because you guys think you're still fighting for the Imperium, even though your world has been destroyed. Okay, this makes sense. So basically. Warhammer bolts copium right into the fucking game. <laughs> um, yeah. This makes sense to me. <laughs> All right, let's see how Cadia falls. Very soul of mankind itself. And for every one of those 10,000 years, the fortress world of Cadia has held the gate closed. An adamantium bastion granted strength by flesh and bone and seeded purpose by faith in the emperor's holy light but as the darkness grew ever deeper and the blaze of the astronomicon guttered like a wind-blown candle the eye of terror pulled 
its baleful energy spilling anew across the stars. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. Fuck. Shit, the chaos is here. With a shriek that echoed through nightmares from Medusa to Ultramar, the Black Fleet slipped its moorings. An endless tide of heretics, traitors, demons, and madmen, whose desperate fealty was given over to a single damned soul. Abaddon the Despoiler, inheritor of the arch-traitor Horus's reviled legacy, the 13th Black Crusade, herald to a fresh age of nightmare, had begun. Stalwart Cadia would be the first to feel its wrath. A Blackstone fortress! Without our shields, that accursed hulk will scour Cadia clean! Repairs to the Null Array are underway. We require only a matter of days. The Magos asks for time. I have none to give. My wolves will buy all that he needs. Alert my battle barge to prepare for my arrival. Who's this? This is a Primarch. I remember one of the Primarchs having this wolf thing fucking on his shoulders. Isn't it? Or is just is this one of the Space Marines that just has the wolf thing the same as their Primarch? Space Wolves. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. So their Primarch had these wolf things, and so all of them have these wolf things. Okay, okay. By the Fang, I'll not die without a fight. Sven Bloodhowl, stalwart of a brotherhood famed for their courage. But sometimes, courage is not enough. Uh huh. Dude, this must be scary as shit if this happened in real life. Initialization failed. Null array inert. Insufficient power. Insufficient power. Rerouting. Reroute failed. That ship was built for war? Fuck. Power surge. Processing. No data. Power building. Null array deploying. Not through the bravery. Fuck, that was close nor the labors of Magus clan, but through the intercession of a mysterious benefactor. But the respite was short-lived, as the cheers faded, traitor warships blackened the skies. The siege of Cadia Secundus had begun. The forces of the Despoiler came in numbers uncounted, but the walls of Casa Krath held. Even in that darkest of days, the flame of humanity's valor burned bright. With faith burning in their hearts, the defenders held the Chaos Hordes at bay, uncaring of the losses they bore in exchange. Jesus. The flesh fails and faith flickers. With every bloody moment, Abaddon's forces drew closer to victory. Oh. Dude, that must be one of the fucking scariest things ever. Being beset from all sides. And what makes it worse is it's one of your own. You know, it, it's... That's what makes this so fucked up, is that the these were people that just... A, like, a short while ago, you considered them brothers. You considered them like part of your team and now your team is coming to fuck you up 
and there's no reasoning with them. There's no explaining to them, hey, uh, I think you're corrupted or some shit like that. It just doesn't fucking matter. Is the word you, uh, years ago when I played WoW Legion, seeing you randomly pop up on YouTube, checking out 40k lore, and I'm here for it, brother. This universe is so messed up. Luxley, thanks for the first time chat. Really appreciate that. Welcome back, brother. Uh, uh, just another Imperium. Yeah, uh, uh, Stolly? Okay, so uh, just for context, Kedia was a fortress world, and I think for like 10,000 years, it was basically the first stop uh, from the uh, Eye of Terror, right? It, mm -hmm. it was what was holding it back, and I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm, I'm not going to say why, but yeah, it's a fortress world. It was one of the biggest contributors to the Imperial Guard, and it only contributed elite soldiers, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Very, very big world. The entire population there was fighting. Men, women, everyone. Sure. Okay. So it is warriors first, and yes, basically it's basically over. Sparta, but in space, you know. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. Uh, just to be clear, though, ten thousand years for things that live forever is a, a fairly short fucking time. Ten thousand years for us is really long because. Well, we don't live forever, right? So 10,000 years seems like an astronomical amount of time. But if you live forever, if you have the ability to just never die, 10,000 years is like a blink of a fucking eye. The hell is that? Archmagos, your reputation precedes you, but you choose a bleak time to come to That's Kenya. Belisarius' call. Bleaker than you know. My adepts uncovered pylons on Area 6. They are a perfect match for those present on Cadia, but were reduced to null during the Fourth Black Crusade. Abaddon. His malice holds greater purpose than we knew. Agreed. Ruined pylon fields have been discovered on many worlds. All are made by the Despoiler. Why? Their heritage is alien, their purpose unknown. The pylon's forges remain shrouded, known only to the Omnissiah. But their purpose is revealed. They contain the Eye of Terror. If they are destroyed, the Immaterium would claim all. The Imperium will be no more. The pylons must be safeguarded. They are our only weapon against the encroachment of chaos. But I need time to study. Go, make your studies. May the Emperor guide you. Dude, we're in a war. Like, we are literally being attacked as we speak. And this guy's going, so I need time to read a couple of books. You know, you got a week. Let me let me just figure out what the fuck is going on here, and then I'll I'll get back to you. You know, can you guys hold them off until I'm done? Yeah, sure. Go. May the emperor be with you. It's like, dude, now is not the time for studies. You should have been here, fucking years ago, right? Um, Mechanicus does. Adeptus Mechanicus, I like this. Yeah, I would tell them to go fuck themselves. Vogi, by the way, thanks for the follow. Really appreciate that. Welcome uh, to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Just for context, this. This is the guy that we talked about, I think, yesterday. The the Mechanicus guy that lived uh, even in the time of the Emperor. Yeah, yeah. This is one and of your favorite characters. Dude. No, uh, mine as well, yeah, but it's uh, one of the other mods. I think Morning has... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his favorite character. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I can't even imagine living in a world like fucking Warhammer, bro. It is just mad. I mean you know how. But 
You are an abomination. The fuck is that thing? I mean you no harm. I prefer... Oh, it's a Necron. Wait, why would the Necrons be here to help? Guess. Technically, every intelligent... Uh, you and I have common cause. Oh, because they all need to keep the terror, the eye, the eye of terror going. Because if the chaos realms enter into the galaxy, everyone is fucked. Yes, they like the humans hate everyone, and the Xenos hate the humans. But they also realize that the humans are the only ones that can keep chaos at bay. So. Oh, okay, this makes sense. Dictates otherwise, then you don't seek to understand the nature of this matrix. You comprehend its secrets. I was there when they first awakened. Or perhaps I wasn't. Memory is such a fickle thing. Neither of us desires to see this galaxy ripped asunder by the Imperial ones. What a weird thing to say. I was there when they were awakened. Oh, perhaps I wasn't. Memory is such a fickle thing. Yeah, that, that inspires trust, my dude. Like, right there. I, I trust this. <laughs> Destroy me if you wish. Nothing will change. For me, for you, for this world. Show me. Admiral, this is madness. Entering real space so close to a planet, you'll doom us all. A good officer commands without doubt and obeys without question. Entering real space in three, two, one. Blessed Emperor, we're in the heart of the fight. Who the hell is this? This is Admiral Catalia to Battle Group Silver Dawn. Catalia. Oh, fucking hell, the cavalry's arrived. Incoming enemy squadrons. Race we for impact. We're saved. Or maybe we aren't saved. We've lost the purity blade. Silver Dawn to Cadian High Command. Where do you need us? This battle is lost. We must disengage. Coward. Commissar. Do your duty. I'm going to be honest. The acting isn't great. Like, they literally just got two people in there to say lines. Oh my god, this battle is lost. We must disengage. Coward, do your duty. <laughs> wow, you could have at least gotten someone that actually fucking gives a shit about the lines that they're saying. <laughs> Jesus. As the Emperor wills. Incoming transmission. Phalanx to Silver Dawn. Situation critical. Chaos forces have launched a full-scale planet strike. They aim to destroy the pylons of the Elysium fields. They must not succeed. Reinforce the position. The phalanx will cover your back. Remain vigilant. We have reports that better voice actor here. The Emperor protects. The Emperor protects. Silver Dawn. This is the Admiral. All ahead full. Prospects readings indicate unusual energy signatures at the Elysium fields. Explain. I need more. Um, fuck? By the Emperor. On the size, Grace. This is beyond my experience. Analyzing. Hurry. What are we looking at? Analyzing complete. The pylons. The energy beam is repelling the eye of terror. How is that possible? No matter. Our duty remains. Prepare for planet strike. Incoming transmission. It's the phalanx. The despoiler has retreated to the vengeful spirit to lick his wounds. We cannot let this opportunity slip away. All vessels, engage the vengeful spirit. For the salvation of mankind and vengeance long due, we will destroy this abomination once and for all. Okay, I'm assuming this is... This was their mistake. Breaking rank in order to per, uh, pursue this guy. This is probably where things went wrong. 
This is Admiral Catalia to Battle Group Silver Dawn. We have our orders, and we're closer than anyone else. Today, the Arch Traitor dies at our hands. Divert all power. Were they perhaps uh, fucked by someone on the inside? Is there a chance that someone on the inside betrayed them? To weapons. Load torpedoes. We are the Emperor's fury. We shall not fail. D Fire! All weapons! The ventral spirit is firing. Sustaining hull damage. Structural breaches on all decks. No! Wow, they're no. fucking getting wrecked. Critical. Reactor critical. Fires reported on all decks. We are heavily damaged. Estimated crew loss 65,000. If uh, there, never in the history of the world has a plan gone fucking sideways that quickly. They, let's fire all our weapons. Shit, they're firing back. Their guns are bigger. We just got wrecked. The vengeful spirit intercepted our torpedoes. No significant damage. What? What have I done? My pride. My arrogance. Yep, you just cost Cadia its fucking life. Very well. If that is how this ends, if we are to die, let it be with the Emperor's light in our eyes and his fury in our voice. We fight on. All hands. One last effort before they overwhelm us. This Fucking ram him. Admiral, the enemy are peeling away. No, you must be mistaken. Confirmed, they are moving towards the wreckage of the Blackstone Fortress. What? What are they doing? Officer, transmit a wideband message to all forces on Cadia. Tell them to evacuate the planet. Now! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is why you destroy it. It should have been fucking destroyed. Okay, wait a second. Question time. So they had to protect the world because the world holds the secrets to the Eye of Terror. But now that Cadia have been destroyed, why aren't they destroyed? Because they basically said, we need to keep this, otherwise we're fucked. They, it, it, the chaos will consume the entire universe if we do not hold Cadia. But Cadia is fucked. So why? Why is the universe not fucked yet? Uh, it it kind of is. That's the new edition of Warhammer 40k. That's the new chapter where they are trying to reclaim all that was lost because of this uh, 13th Black Crusade and the fall of Cadia. Ah, okay. So that's why humanity is under, under constant threat from the warp now, is because Cadia was lost. Yeah, they basically lost half the galaxy. <laughs> wow. Dude, what a fucked up universe, man. Like, one planet... Like, ah! There should have been more fleets, I feel. Is Abaddon still alive?
I think so, yeah. So Abaddon, Abaddon still lives. <sighs> and no one's been able to kill him yet. Yes, and the warp healing. Fuck, can you imagine? Just imagine for a second playing like this is an RPG, man. Like a proper fucking RPG. Um, seeing stories like Abaddon and shit like that. What do you mean oh. he's he's forever? So wait, Abaddon cannot die? No matter how you kill him, no matter where you kill him, he can't die. He almost got killed by Sigismund, who is one of the only people he fully respected and honored after he killed him. He has a model. He won't die soon. Chaos respawns. There are champions and characters. Everyone comes back. His soul can't die. I'm assuming it's similar to what you would get in basically all other fantasy games, but World of Warcraft specifically here. If you can kill him inside the warp, that's where he would die. But in order to kill him inside the warp, you'd need to send someone into the warp that is strong enough to actually still not. Dude, so you can't kill the chaos. Like, chaos cannot be stopped. Seems a bit no. overpowered to me. Not gonna lie to you. Ah, so you need special weapons to take down chaos. Kill some of the demonic, you need to, to separate their bond to the warp with sheer power or simply imprison them. So it's not overpowered, it's just more only special weapons will take them down. Okay, I, I get that. I must admit, I've never heard about this Abaddon guy before, and I think he's a cunt. Just after seeing this, I think he's an asshole. And the more I learn, the more I have to admit I am an Imperium fanboy, man. I really do like the Imperium. So, if you want a bit more context to what happens after the fall of Cadia, is mm -hmm. basically uh, after Cadia falls, you know, all these, uh, these thir because of the 13th Black Crusade, all the Chaos. Uh, fleets and everything they go like all over the the galaxy and uh, they fuck shit up and i one of, yeah one of the books i just uh, read mm -hmm. um basically says that even on terra there are demons and there are fucking uh, uprisings and, and stuff like that you know and the uh, terra you know the home uh, of humans you know that's yeah, where yeah. the emperor is all that shit. yeah and uh, they I, I don't remember exactly if they passed the law but basically the custodians can actually like they they pass all over the custodians are like gonna go out into the world and you know fuck shit up as well they won't stay on terra exclusively anymore yeah and that's also when gilliman comes back the primarch we talked about earlier he comes back around this time and starts leading the imperium to you know start uh, claiming back the lost territory and uh, uh it's basically uh. the entire universe uh, galaxy is fucked up <laughs> at that point and uh, okay I, As I, I said, that's, that's the new chapter. Yeah. Okay, I get, I get what you mean. Someone is saying something interesting here. How true is this? Kil, uh, Kilimanjaro, how you doing, brother? Abaddon is actually trying to manipulate the Chaos Gods. That's the thing. He feels he is outsmarting them, but is doing their bidding while thinking he isn't. Is that true? But is he then still corrupted by the Chaos? Horus was the same. So Horus also thought, Jesus, so that's how the Chaos Gods get you. The, the Chaos Gods knew that they could probably not corrupt Horus and the others by just simply making them do their bidding. So they kind of allow them to think that, oh, no, no, we don't want you to do this. What are you doing? And then they do it. And it's like, oh, no. Yes. Kind of thing, right? That's why he hasn't chosen a specific god. He thinks he is independent and using them, but it's the other way around. And he can't be saved.
Like, there's no way to to save Abaddon from the chaos. Then through their uh, through their hubris, they accept the gifts, thinking they can fight off their influence. Steve, so one of the videos I watched way back about Slanesh sort of spoke about that, where they said if you just, even if you just, like, pick up one thing in Slanesh's realm, like, just one thing, so you just accept one of the gifts, you are forever enthralled by them. So there's no escaping. You basically, the only way you can survive is by, you have to reject everything that they that that they want to gift you. So yeah, it is sort of this, they, they dangle the power in front of you. You think you can accept the power, but still keep your own mind. But as soon as you accept the power, you are now, well, basically fucked. <clears throat> I'm not addicted. It's Hotel California rules. Can check out, but never leave. It's a metaphor for Blizzard games. <laughs> uh, I can probably see that. Actually, there is a theory on when he started at the Astronomicon. He now sees visions of the Emperor. Who knows? Hmm. That is why the Emperor chose to keep mum about it. You see, I don't agree with the Emperor's decision to keep mum about it. But someone commented on one of the videos. So I'll quickly give you guys this and then you can tell me... Um, how correct this is. Someone commented on one of the, the, the videos saying um, the reason the emperor chose not to tell the uh, 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 what are they called again? Uh, the Primarchs about the warp and the chaos gods is the emperor foresaw that his children was going to betray him. He foresaw that some of his kids were going to join the Chaos Gods. And he was basically trying to manipulate which ones would join the Chaos Gods. So he was nice to some of them and horrible to others. Trying to get the the bad ones to join the Chaos and the good ones to stay with him. And apparently that backfired fucking miserably. And, and so... Yeah, he basically didn't get the good ones to stay with him and the bad ones to go over to Chaos. They thought Carax was crazy. Yes, uh, Carax knew. The prophecy things, you do it or not, it will happen anyway. So that's a it, theory, Blanket. It, it is hinted that, that uh, the Emperor knew he's going to be you know, on the Golden Throne, like what he what is going to become of him. But it is a theory. Yes. Okay, so it's not... Well, technically, everything is canon in the fucking universe, and nothing is canon because of the way it's written. But right now, that is more a player theory based on some evidence within the universe. It's not a, It's not stated in any of the books that this is, in fact, what the Emperor was doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I love things like that. I, I, I enjoy when you get those sort of weird theories and shit that play out. Technique That's guns why I told you you're gonna like this universe. This universe is fucking interesting. Not gonna lie. <laughs>